Hey, my name is Lore. I am a content creator living in the greatest city in the world. And welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll take you all around New York City, and I'll record it all on my camera. Please enjoy today's video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, what up? My name is Laura. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is a good day to have a good day. Happy Thanksgiving. It's actually Thanksgiving right now. When I'm filming this, I'm gonna film, edit, upload all in one day. I wanted to post this on Thanksgiving because I think that with everything going on in the world and that's happened in the last year, it's super, super important to take a minute, to take a second out of your day and reflect on what you're grateful for, what you're thankful for, and what better day to do this than Thanksgiving itself. So I thought it would only be appropriate to ask actually uploaded on Thanksgiving. Side note, before we start, you might see my nails. I got my nails done for the first time literally ever. Yesterday, shout out Taylor, my best friend. You guys know her, you love her. But yeah, we talked about me getting my nails. Well, I think I said to her one time, I was like, I think it's time that I get my nails done just like once in my life. So I got them done. I got actually tips as well. And I'm obsessed with the color brown right now. Like it's my favorite color. And I'm just so happy that I can stare at it all day. So yeah, I got my nails done. I know very off brand for me, but whatever, like it's fine. I feel like if we're gonna be home for this long, I gotta do something crazy. And it was either this or cut my hair. And we all know that's not gonna happen. So nails it is. But yeah, like I was saying, I just wanted to make this video um, a short, quick little video just to talk about some things that I'm grateful for, some things that I'm thankful for. I just think this is super important. I do it every single morning. Gratitude is a big, big part of my daily routine and I really encourage everyone to make it a big part of their routine. It seriously has shaped me into a completely different person. I am forever grateful for that. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So the first thing that I want to say I am grateful for is an extremely broad, broad topic, but I am just so grateful to be alive. I have seen so many people's lives taken in my 19 years of living on this earth and I was talking about it with one of my friends yesterday that I am just so incredibly grateful to be alive, to be healthy on this earth. That kind of moves on to my second point. I am so grateful for my health. There are so many people that are suffering and you never know what someone's going through mentally or physically health wise. So it's super, super important to take a step back and just be super, super grateful for not only your physical health, but also your mental health as well. Next thing I am thankful and grateful for is my family. I was never really super close with my family and that's not something I very much talk about in my videos. I don't know. I don't know why. Like, love them. Everything's great and everything. Like, there's no issues or anything. It's just not really something that I vocalize even with my own friends. My family and I's relationship is not bad by any means. I wouldn't say it's like the most incredible thing in the world, but I realized when I went away for college for my first year, I was completely unhappy and I realized how much I missed them and needed them in my life so much. So I think I definitely got closer with them within the last year. Yeah, my mom, my dad, my brother, they're the best and although we do argue and fight sometimes I'm still extremely grateful that I have them all in my life and hopefully I will for as long as I'm living. <laughs> the next thing that I am grateful and thankful for are my friends. I love my friends more than literally anything in this world and if you're my friend and like one of my best friends like you know I would do absolutely anything for my friends. Some of my friends are seriously just the greatest thing that's ever happened to me um, when I was in a very dark place a couple years ago when I had a really rough time this summer. Seriously, they are some of the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm so grateful for all of them. I don't even want to name people because there's just so many and like you know who you are if we're really good friends. These are like my home friends, some of my old school friends, some of my new school friends, some people from just life that I'm really good friends with. I'm just so grateful for them. My friends are always just like my 100% top priority. Again, if you're my friend, like you know who you are and you know that I love you more than anything else in the world. Thankful and grateful is a literal understatement with them. They are just the best thing ever and I love them with absolutely everything in me. Same with my family, but just like my family and friends in general. I just love them more than anything in the world and I yeah, I love them so much. <laughs> the next thing that I am thankful for is Soul Cycle. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me talk about it, but like I don't even care. Like click off if you don't want to hear it. I don't think I can even express into words how much Soul Cycle has changed my life within the last year. I have always gone to Soul Cycle um, like here and there with some of my friends over the summer. Like we would just do it like for fun, but I really made it a lifestyle. This past, like this last year that just occurred, um, I was having a really, really rough freshman year and I felt that I needed to put my energy into something positive, into something good. That's the way I think about things. That's just my mindset. I'm a very glass half full kind of girl. So I wanted to put my energy into something good 
good. I kind of reconnected with SoulCycle and it has been a part of my lifestyle ever since. I spent all my money there, but like honestly, like I don't care because I know that it is so good for me and I'm getting so much out of it, both mentally and physically. All of the instructors there, I'm thankful for. Big shout out, all of my friends I've met there. It's just such an amazing environment for me. It might not be for everyone and that's totally okay, but at least for me, I know that it is completely shaped and changed my whole life. I'm super grateful that I have it in my life and that I have a job that I can pay for it to go, you know? <laughs> the next thing that I'm thankful for is living in New York my whole life. If you guys don't know, I am from Westchester, very, very close to the city, just right above it. And, you know, all of my life, I've spent a great deal of time going to the city here and there, staying there for like a couple weeks, whatever, whatever. I've been there my whole life. It's where I go to school. I go to Fordham, if you guys are new here. Yeah, I'm just so grateful to live in New York. I don't think I realized how good I had it being so close to the city at such a young age and just being able to go there whenever I wanted with my friends. It's just definitely a luxury that a lot of people don't have and I recognize that I have the privilege to do that and I am super grateful for that. I think living in New York has given me some tough skin. It's definitely made me a super strong person and I'm forever grateful for that. This next one might sound a little weird and I don't mean it in any malicious or negative intent but I am very grateful for the quarantine and that is because I pretty much changed my whole life around. I was home obviously like all of you guys for for X amount of months. I don't even know how long it was at this point, but I am so grateful that I had that time to work on myself and change who I am as a person because it's something that was necessary and I needed to do both mentally, physically, just lifestyle wise. Like there's so many things that I needed to make a change. I needed that time for self-reflecting. It might not have been something that I posted online, but it's definitely something that I did do. And like, I guess I'm saying it now that I did self-reflect on everything that was going on in the world, everything that was going on with me mentally and physically. So I am very grateful that I had that time during the quarantine to do so. So just to close this video off, I think that there are so many things to be grateful for and thankful for, and I'm definitely missing like a million things because you just have to be grateful for being alive. I mean, seriously, the world is so great and I know that there's bad things happening all the time, but I really like to try to take a step back and understand how lucky I am to be where I am and to understand that there are so many great things in this world despite all the bad things that do sometimes go on but anyways the last thing that I want to say that I'm grateful and thankful for today is all of you guys and just the ability to create stories and impact people through my YouTube through my podcast through any content I put out through any medium Instagram I'm so grateful for all the support that you guys give me and that you give me a space to share my thoughts whether that be on my podcast or to share moments from my life on my YouTube this is such an amazing space for me and I I don't know what I would do without it. Truly, I am so grateful for all of you guys and the fact that I have you here to support me through this crazy journey. I hope that so many great things come out of it in the future. So many amazing things have come out of it already. And I'm so thankful for all those opportunities that you guys honestly have given me because without you, there would be no Loriolo, I guess. I mean, there'd still be me, but without you guys, I don't have the incredible opportunities that I've experienced and that hopefully I will experience more of. So thank you guys so much much always and I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did leave a like comment down below if you don't want to I don't really care and I will see you guys in next week's video bye Baby, this